What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And hey, if you guys want to check out some cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description, along with a coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. Over the past several videos that I shot, I showed different locations where you can get things like bobbleheads and magazines, as well as these mods that are going to be for either your power armor, your weapons, or your regular armor. Uh, I did get a few questions from some people that are new to Fallout 76 asking, well, how do I equip these mods? And although it's a simple process, it's not very self-explanatory, so I figure I'd take a video to show you guys real quick what you do with these mods once you actually have them. So I'm going to head over to my camp real quick. What we need to do is get to crafting stations. Depending on the type of mod that you're going to be using, uh, you might need a power armor station, a weapon station, or an armor station. I got a couple of mods here. Uh, let's take a look here. I got one for a submachine gun, so I'm going to be doing an example on a weapon. And I got one for power armor. Although it doesn't say here, I know this is actually for excavator power armor just because I can see that it's made out of black titanium. Um, so let's start off with that one. Let's find ourselves a power armor station. I already got my power armor ready to go. And we have the option to craft, scrap, or modify slash repair. In this case, we're going to be using modify slash repair. Now, knuckles, I know, goes to an arm set. These are just things that you kind of pick up as you go along. So here I got my left arm and I got my right arm. Under current mods on the right-hand side, it says no miscellaneous mods and standard paint. Let's go ahead and click on the arm. And under no miscellaneous mods, it's going to show me what mods I have available, either the ones that I could craft or the ones that I have picked up mods to. Now, you might notice that it does say requires, and it says adhesive, aluminum, oil, steel. Uh, we don't need that because we actually have the mod. If we had the plans to craft this by hand, we would need those items. But since we have the mod, we don't need any crafting material for this. You may also know at the bottom of the screen where it says if you press A, it's going to attach mod. If we were actually building this by hand, it would just say build instead of attach mod. So that's the indicator that you have the mod for this. So let's go ahead and attach those now. And as you can see, the, the arm now changed names. It now says Knuckles Excavator Left Arm. So that's it. We just attached the mod for the power armor. It's pretty straightforward and simple once you know how to do it. Let's go ahead and do another example for a weapon. So I had a mod that I picked up for a 10 millimeter uh, submachine gun. So let's go ahead and go to our weapons bench here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We have the ability to craft, scrap, modify, repair. So we're gonna go into modify, repair. And here I've picked up this level 10 assassin's 10 millimeter submachine gun. It's going to do extra damage to a player, and the bullets explode for area damage. Not a bad level 10 weapon. Let's see if we can make it a little better by attaching that mod to it. So here I do have the ability to craft a lot of different things compared to the excavator armor. So you're going to see a lot of different options under here between receiver. Uh, what I have for the mod though is a barrel. So you see if I select short barrel or long barrel, if I press A down at the bottom of the screen it says build. That means I'm going to consume those crafting materials under the required, the aluminum and the oil and all of that. But if I do go down to the aligned sub, um, what is that, aligned stub barrel, there we go, I can't read, um, it just switches from build to attach mod because I have the mod for it. So I can just attach that, no materials necessary, and just like that, I now have that mod attached to the weapon. So it's the same exact process as the power armor. Now, with that being said, I picked this weapon up while I was shooting for another video that I'll probably release either tomorrow or Saturday. But nonetheless, if you guys are new players and you learn something new, and this is a weapon that intrigues you, assuming that you're on PC, because by now many of you guys know that I'm actually on PC, despite the fact that I play with an Xbox controller. So if you're a new player and you're on PC and you want yourself an Assassin's 10mm submachine gun, all you need to do is be the first person to write in the comments, Assassin's 10mm submachine gun. I'll meet up with anybody who, who types that into the chat first. I'll meet up with you guys in game and give this weapon to you. With that being said, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you learned something from this. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you all next time.